colleagues and let's welcome Sheila. Sorry? Yeah, thanks. Hi, uh, I'm Dimi from Wikimedia Europe and I'm here um, to share an observation with you. So I work in public policy. I keep an eye on re relevant legislative developments in the region of Europe and coordinate Wikimedia's policy uh, and advocacy activities in that regard. And one thing I'm increasingly observing is that governments are more and more trying to tackle the issue of protecting children in the digital world. And their standard go-to out-of-the-box solution for that uh, seems to be to propose mandatory age verification for online platforms, all online platforms. France recently passed uh, a law that obliges all uh, social networks to do this. Uh, in the original draft of this law, all Wikimedia projects would have been included. Uh, thanks to Wikimedia France, uh, there is now a carve-out for online encyclopedia, educational and scientific repositories. Uh, but yeah, that's a carve-out. Uh, in the UK, uh, they're currently debating the online safety bill, which as it stands would mandate all Wikimedia projects uh, to perform an age verification check. Um, and these are not the only examples. I'm just quickly giving two. Uh, this seems to be a trend across Europe and I'm certain also across the planet. Now, why is this an issue for us? Uh, because of course, having to perform mandatory age verification checks on each user before they access the service for us would mean a, a harder access to free knowledge, an extra obstacle, and B, the Wikimedia Foundation or a third party service provider would need to collect more data about the users, something we really, really don't want to do. Uh, however, if we are honest, um, on comments, there, there is quite some content that probably deserves more attention and is problematic from the point of view of, well, let's say at least age appropriate content regulation. And uh, we don't seem to be doing all that much against it or about it. I'm not saying that we should uh, perform age verification. I'm I'm uh, lobbying against it, uh, at least for Wikimedia projects, but I think we, sh we need to be serious about the issue because um, some legislators are actually quite okay. They say, look, we will not come after you with this, but we want to see that you're being serious about this issue and that you're really paying attention to it. Uh, the Wikimedia Foundation is doing a child uh, rights impact assessment, which is great, uh, but I think we might also as a community consider doing a little bit more. Now, from what I uh, have read and seen, there are three ways uh, to do this age appropriate content uh, restriction online. One is uh, to check your user's age on your platform, which we don't want because the Wikimedia Foundation would have to collect more data about the users. The second way to do this uh, would be to uh, outsource this to a third party. So let's say to allow only people with a Apple ID or Facebook ID or Google ID uh, join the platform, but of course we don't want to do this. Uh, but I think there is actually a third way. Um, I know this is not popular, but I still want us to think about this and to consider it. Um, if the uh, content comes with the appropriate metadata that this is sensitive content or age inappropriate content, uh, then a device on the side of the user uh, can, through its parental controls, actually take care of these settings without any additional data about the user being exchanged. This is a bit like cable TV and your set-top boxes work. Um, of course, right now, uh, and I, I don't think Wikimedia would ever offer this out of the box or you know, provide such a service. I'm not arguing for this. Uh, but on commons, there are a few categories that actually already go down this line. Uh, so there is a category on commons called files with child protection and obscenity acts warnings, which basically categorizes 200 or so files uh, that have some pretty rough sexual content in them. Um, and I want us to consider whether we as a community wouldn't want to make more of a concerted effort to categorize more of the sensitive content or controversial content on commons in such categories, seconds. because that would essentially allow um, anybody with a parental control function on the device side uh, to uh, make use of this without us having to gather any data. So um, yeah, give power to the parents a bit. <laughs> Um, thank you, and I know it's, uh, it's a tricky and uncomfortable issue, but I think we need to think about it, so thanks. 
how was the lightning show so far? 